welcome back to Barbells and Beauty and this is the Survivor Series for March. Yes, I am ending it early. I've got two reasons why. Um, one is um, after Kat Von D's latest video, um, which I do not think helped her channel and her business at all, I can just no longer in good conscience um, keep mentioning her brand and using her brand on my channel, personal preference. If you still support Kat Von D, that is your right. I'll even watch your videos once in a while. It's just personally, I can't. So, um, this will probably be, if not the last time, definitely one of the very few last times you will ever see Kat Von D on my channel. Um, this 10 year anniversary palette, it sucks, okay? It just sucks. Maybe I've got a dud. Maybe it just is a sucky palette. I don't know, but I do not like the quality of this. I find uh, the mattes to be patchy um, and the shimmeries to just be kind of flaky. And um, I just don't enjoy the palette at all. So I'm going to squirt it off with alcohol and then I'm going to list it in my Poshmark if anybody is curious. Then the Urban Decay Back Talk. Again, um, I think I might have a look or two. I'll insert looks here. But this Urban Decay Back Talk palette, um, let me get this stupid little mirror out of here. The blushes slash highlighters, they are okay, but not nearly okay enough for me to want to keep the palette. And then these um, eyeshadows, again, they're not the most horrible ones that I have ever used. However, I just prefer the Urban Decay Naked Cherry, which I just picked up. I think it'll be in my haul video for March. And I really, really enjoy it a lot better than I do the Back Talk palette. So again, I will, whoops, I will squirt it off with some alcohol and put it in my Poshmark listing as well. So we're going to get an early jump on Survivor Series for March slash April because I've still got like 11, 12 days left of March. And then April is only 30 days. So we're just going to get a good jump on it. So we're going to start with the Lorac Unzipped Desert Sunset Palette. I'm not a real big fan of this lid. It always act, feels like to me when I'm using it that, oh my gosh, it's broken or something. The colors are stunning. They are good Lorac quality. It's just I have not reached for this in I don't know how long. Um, yeah. It's been a long time since I, I think I used it like the first week I got it and that was about it. And then I've got this from MAC, the Classic Cutie Palette. Again, I used it uh, once or twice maybe and I just really haven't used it much. And so I'm going to see if I can't get a little bit of use out of these palettes. So the wrap up for the first half of March, these two both going bye bye. Um, I don't want to support Kat Von D's channel or Kat Von D's products anymore on my channel. And uh, the palette I thought stunk anyway. That's probably why I wasn't using it at all. And Urban Decay Back Talk, it's only okay. It's not good enough for me to want to keep. So it's going to go bye bye as well. And for the rest of March and April, Max Classic Cutie. And the D Lorac Unzipped Desert Sunset. So with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and take care of yourself. Because that's the nurse's orders. Bye-bye.